Oh. Oh. Do we have any takers on that last apartment of uh, Russian developer Vladimir? Uh, yes, uh, Harvey, the, the big fella. Well, he, he says he'll make a conditional offer. Conditional on what? A date with Donna tonight. Interesting. Oh, you can't be serious. These are desperate times. I really need that last apartment sold. Well, we have sold four out of five. That's pretty good. Yeah, no, not good enough. I did a deal with Vladimir that we only get paid our commission when we sell all five. Why'd you do that? It's called playing the long game, Julian. I had to do something to stop him from going to Ted Cross. That and I find him a bit intimidating. So we don't get paid until all the apartments are sold? By tomorrow. Well, we better sell that last apartment then. Thanks, Captain Obvious. That and I don't want to be on Vladimir's bad side. You know how he ends every sentence with my friend? Anytime anyone calls you my friend, that's the last thing you are. It's kind of like uh, the C word here, where you call your mates the C word and you call, well, C words mate. Hmm. Oh, it's our mate. Hello. Vladimir, how are you, mate? You're not so good. Still waiting for you, my friend. Yeah, look, I know this last apartment has taken a little bit longer than anticipated to sell, but we should have it mopped up very soon. I'm not happy, my friend. Yeah, I'm not happy either, Vladimir, but we're chasing up all the leads and uh, we should have you a buyer maybe by the end of the day. Vladimir? I don't like to be disappointed, my friend. Yeah, OK, OK. Look, let us get back to the leads and uh, we'll talk soon. Don't upset me, my friend. All right, all right. Jesus, I feel like I'm in a Bond movie. Are we just acting this way because he's Russian? I mean, are we maybe just being a little bit racist? Not at all. Russians love their stereotype. Big, scary drunks who never smile. It's a great brand. Mm. Not like he's French. Now, that's a shit brand. Mime-loving, frog-eating, sex maniacs. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's just racist. No. Nah. Top of the morning, Donna. Wish I could say the same. Oh, no, what's the problem? Our rude receptionist has struck again. What's she done? Oh, she's upset one of our tenants with her usual arrogant, bitchy attitude. But that's her job description. Mm, very funny. If you don't talk to her, I will. Uh, and another thing, that Harvey creep came in with an offer for the apartment on Vladimir's project. Excellent! He was being very coy, said he had one final arrangement to attend to first, that you knew about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's nothing. A anyway, I just heard from him and he's ready to sign. So I just need you to go and uh, take the papers to him. Why can't he just come in here? It's a long story, um, but I, I just need you to meet him tonight. Where? Oh, probably somewhere fancy, so it's all tickety-boo. Marcus, is the condition of him signing taking me out to dinner? No, of course not. You can't make her do it. It's sexist and he's a creep. Thank you, Jules. Oh, God, here we go again. Sexism, racism, it's exhausting. There's no sense of sacrifice with you people. Donna, I really need this last apartment sold. Vladimir is busting my balls. I got massive cash flow issues. And let's not forget about the potential fines from that underquoting business. All you have to do is go and meet him tonight. What's the big deal? The whole commission from this project is riding on this, Donna. Unbelievable. Come on. It'll be a fancy restaurant. Harvey loves his food. Oh, really? I wouldn't have guessed from the 140 kilos around his gut. Forget it. Really smooth. That's enough out of you. We've got the receptionist on the line. No, Donna's overreacting. You need your receptionist to be a bit aloof. It's good posture. Real estate is a psychological game, okay? If people come in and we're too friendly, it comes across as needy. I see some flaws in that theory. Oh, is that right?
Hello, Julian Greco speaking. Oh, hi, Abdul. Did you speak to your wife about that apartment? <laughs> I agree, I agree. Great finishes, A-grade location. Uh, the developer. Yeah, look, he knows what he wants. He's quite the perfectionist. Listen, uh, we have had an offer on that apartment, and it is the last one, but I think if you make your way to the office right now and uh, give that contract a sign, I reckon I can get it over the line for you. Too easy. All right, I'll let them know you're on your way. Not too shabby, son. And Donna doesn't need to go out with Harvey now. No, she does not. Get that Harvey on the line. Plug in the number. Hello, is this Marcus? Yes, Harvey. It's about your offer on that apartment. Have I offered too much? <laughs> yes, about 140 kilos too much. Go again? It's about the special condition, Harvey. I don't know what sort of operation you think we're running here, but if you assume our female staff are your little playthings, then you are grossly mistaken, okay? You can take that perverted, lascivious, creepy behavior to our competition. Take it to Ted Cross. You'll fit right in there, but not with us and not with our team. We don't do business this way. Right. Good well, look, bar. I've, uh... That was awesome. Oh. Hi, Donna. You should have just heard the blast that Marcus put Harvey through. He would have been proud. He let him have it. Oh, really? Well, Marcus, I should thank you for coming around. Not a problem at all, Donna. You know, I do consider myself to be a feminist. Um, okay. Uh, anyway, Julian's client Abdul just came in with his wife to sign the contract for that last apartment. Yeah? Well, when they arrived, the receptionist was so rude to them that they walked out. I ran after them, but they were so angry, they told me to jam the apartment you know where. Probably up the arts. See ya. Fuck! me down my friend but not that cross he sells an apartment for me message deleted <laughs>